Now, we're still staying on Media General's Election Command Center. We're taking you back to 2016 with a little recap. Now, Media General's Election Command Center was launched in June 16, 2016, towards the coverage of the December 7 polls. As the name suggests, TV3 and its sister stations spread across the country, reporters, analysts, and political commentators commanding and beaming every detail of the election to the populace. Evelyn Tingma brings back excerpts of how the network commanded the 2016 elections. And that's the official launch yeah. there. That was the opening of Media General's Election Command Center in 2016, replacing the previously election house tag. The command center is a one-stop shop and technologically driven arena that brought news and events on the 2016 elections from across the country. It's just about 20 minutes to the close of polls. And of course, why not a command center? All media general professionally trained journalists tracked the country, bringing viewers every detail. Already we've been to about two polling stations and there are long queues there. All the other polling stations in Canada have all not voted today. And that is the situation here, Martin. 437 voters out of 672 registered voters had cast their ballots. Presenters were also on top of their game. It is sorted out before uh, counted. We'll get back to the last, that they could talk on constituency. Top-notched civil society leaders, election monitors, analysts, and other notables were guests. Kwame Nkrumah was a great organizer. It is a win for one party at a particular goal, and you will not go for a runoff. The command center, located right in the premises of TV3, commanded all election-related matters in the country. It's another election year, and already the election command center has been duly launched. Now, you can trust Media General's TV3, Onya FM, Onya TV, 3FM, Connect FM, Akuma FM, and 3news.com for all the factual, accurate, and detailed reportage of this year's elections. Evelyn Tinkma, TV3 News. I pledge to peace.